I love the church. I love the music. The preaching. I love not one reference to hatred or revenge. It was all about love and justice. It's in the great tradition of the best of black people. A people who have been hated chronically, systemically for 400 years, but have taught the world so much about love and how to love. You saw John Coltrane's Love Supreme in that church service. You saw the love of the children or Marvin Gaye's What's Going On and Toni Morrison's Be Loved. You saw Mama Raising in the Sun of Lorraine Hansberry. White America ought to give black people a standing ovation if after 400 years of being terrorized, we refuse to create a black version of the Ku Klux Klan. After 400 years of being traumatized, we want to dish out healers. That's Frederick Douglass. That's Martin King. That's Curtis Mayfield. That's Fannie Lou Hamer. What is it about these black people? so thoroughly subjugated but want freedom for everybody that's a grand gift to the world right in the bowels at the center of an American empire that is enslaved Jim Crow, Jane Crow lynched them, still dishing out these love warriors that's what I saw in the Floyd family and I was buoyed up, it reminded me of the West family, reminded me of Irene and Cliff and Cliff and Cynthia and Cheryl. That's where we come from. Shiloh Baptist Church. You can put us down, but you're not going to put us down in such a way that we're going to hate you because you become the point of reference. No, we're going to put a smile on Larsenia's face. That's his mama. That's where he is right now. He's lying right next to Sister Larsenia, who, 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 whose way of engaging the world was embracing it with all the love. Now, I'm not saying we don't have black thugs and gangsters. I'm talking about the best of our tradition. Because, brother, 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 if we had created a black version of the Ku Klux Klan and been a civil war, every generation would tear itself in every hood. And that's what Brother Trump needs to understand, because it looks like he's trying to push us to the race war. But the good news is, if there was a race war, we got a whole lot of white brothers and sisters on our side now. That makes a big difference. And we got black folk and red folk and, and indigenous peoples and Asians and so forth. This is a matter of integrity and honesty, a matter of justice and love. They kept it on the high ground. That was a beautiful thing. But I did break the brother. I saw those brothers marching in like the ushers in Shiloh Baptist Church and pick up that coffin and go and walk out. My daughter was there. Couldn't take it, man. I've been at this for over 50 years. And yet, I got to bounce back. And I will bounce back because we got a love that the world can't take away. The world, white supremacy may make being black a crime, but we refuse to get in the gutter. We gonna go down swinging like Ella Fitzgerald, Muhammad Ali, in the name of love and justice. We doing it for Brother Wyatt. We doing it for my daughter. We doing it for the Asians. We doing it for the whole world because that's the only hope of the world. And that kind of love is always tragic, comic, and cruciform. You got to get ready to get crucified with that kind of love. And yet you keep dishing it on generation after generation after generation. The Floyd family lifted up that spiritual, moral banner in the midst of a moment in which we got all these lies and crimes, be it Pentagon, the Benedict, the Pentagon, or, or Wall Street, or White House, or even Congress itself, we know they don't represent the best of this country. It's just that the best of this country right now seems to be so powerless, but in the streets of the of our nation, we see this multi-racial, multi cultural, multi-gender, different sexual orientations, different religions, Jewish brothers and sisters holding up Rabbi Abraham Joshua Hedgel, the Catholics holding up Dorothy Day, the Protestants holding up William Coffin and Lydia Maria Child, and the agnostics and the others holding up the Norman Thomases and the Edward Zaid and others. That was my mixed wrestling with what I saw today, my brother. And, uh, I think we've got hope in the form of motion, but we got to get ready for the backlash. We got to get ready for the neo-fascist clampdown because it's coming. It is coming.